Hey everybody, welcome back to turn um, 26 of the playthrough with myself and Ara of War of the West by Matrix Games. It's a, a pretty awesome game. I'm just going to have a little background music on. Let's see, let's find a little background music that works well. And if you hear any crying in the background, my son's sick, so he might he might throw up, but you know, we'll try to win a thousand minutes. So, in the ballpark, but it's it's a heavy toll. Um, they lost 1,700 guns, we lost 1,700, we lost 1,000 tanks, they lost 300 tanks. Um, we've each captured about 20,000 men. Destroyed units, uh, mostly the allies, like this turn was really bad. We, this was our repulse invasion on the 22nd turn, six divisions instantly destroyed. Uh, what we have got though is, uh, we're gonna, it's the air turn right now, but we'll do more later. So what we do have though is, uh, I don't want to see him now. He did tell me he's not going to block this and make me use the headquarters to go over because it'd be kind of, we, 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 we agreed it'd be kind of cheesy. So today, let's look at the victory point total. Um, we're, we're back up to 200. We were under 200 for a little bit. Um, most of our losses have been missing the U-boats, which we, it took a while to get a handle on learning at the air campaign, so that was expensive. Other loss v, v, uh, VPs, not sure what that was. U.S. losses, we lost a lot of... Uh, oh, I guess that's others than the United States loss, losing people. The United States losing people, that's minus 78 right there. We've been bombing good. That's given us 100 points. Uh, city VPs, we got 100. So it's back and forth. Uh, right now we're in the territory of a... You know, a minor act axis victory, so we're in between draw and axis victory, so we're gonna have to turn it around. Uh, let's go through and look at for the yearly totals, total victory points. You know, as you see the campaign, they've we've started <laughs> we started out slowly, slowly. The delta's typically been uh, six to eight. We've we've gone a, a steady downward arch. We had a bit of a bounce last turn, but it wasn't was for naught. Um, city victory points, city victory points. Not sure that is bombing victory points. Pretty steady. That's, you know, pretty steady, four to six points every turn. Partisan, garrison. What is that? Is that partisan, garrison? So we've got 70 points for that. So he's he's goofed up a little bit there, it looks like. So that's cool. Um, US losses, steadily going up, you know. Other losses, steadily going up. This is the turn. If you notice, this is when the British and French six divisions got destroyed. U-boat losses. You'll see it's been going up steadily, but I've finally gotten kind of a bit of a hand on it. If you look at the delta, you know, big, 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 bad, bad, and I've kind of got it down to where I've, I've been bombing them in a submission pretty, pretty reasonably. Uh, no beachhead. Not sure what that is, but we don't have that yet. Total men. Holy mackerels! They're why do you why do you lose a million men? Holy mackerel, dude! Why did you lose? I'm gonna text R right now. Why did you why did he lose a million? Why did you lose a million men? Oh, it's Italy. Italy was this is when Italy disappeared. I was like, holy jeez, what the hell happened there? <coughs> what happened there? So that's what happened there. So, okay. Nice drop. We're finally bigger than them and growing unstoppably. Total ready men. We finally have more men, so we have more guns. No, they had more guns. Wow. That's impressive. Total ready guns. They have more. But they have the east front, too. This counts the east front as well. Armored fighting vehicles. I've got them skunked. This is Italy leaving, I think. Their, their tanks didn't really count anyway. Ready aircraft. We're skunking them. Aircraft skunking them. Air execution. Our losses have been pretty... These are turns where I've taken rests, and this is because of mud and bad weather right here. But it's been pretty pretty skunk tastic We've been flying a lot of sorties. Sorties per one loss. And pretty steady at... Anywhere between 90 to 50. Let us see. I look like a giant here, like the way the cam camera looks. I just wanted to sit up for a second. Um, combat air combat losses have been pretty brutal. Black losses for me have been brutal. I've been flying into some pretty hairy places. I don't lose many aircraft on the ground, but he does. So fuck you. Training flight sorties. 
I have done a little training fight. Training fight losses, a little bit. Fuel stores! Mine is impressive. His is not the most impressive I've ever seen. I really love these freaking charts, man. These make it, these let me nerd out greatly. I don't see that. I was just going to see Germany. Ah, oh, there we go. 19. So some he's like there. I wonder what happened there. Was that Italy leaving maybe? Or him him doing combat operations. Like this is around when he did combat ops. So him driving those tanks around uses a lot of fuel. So I think it's not as desperate as it might seem. If, if I hold it together for a little bit, you know. Fuel requirements for both of us are pretty easy. Oil. My oil storage plus pulls drop low, but I'm imagining that's because I'm okay. Requirements drop low, I'm not sure what that means. Supply store, we both. Oh, that's the delta. Well, let's look at that again. Okay. There we go. So is my delta, but my delta is really only. Oh, I'm not getting any more oil because I bet I maxed. Yeah, I maxed. And oil storage pull, same thing, I bet I maxed. Yeah, I maxed. A supply stores. Why is it so different? Like, hmm, that's weird. But they're pretty on the same page, resources. East front total combat value. Let's see what he's done on the combat value. There's not gonna be anything for the allies on that one, so let's just turn that off. Oh, it's thinking. It's it's like shit shit, gotta process. Dirt, 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 dirt. Oh man, I forgot to do a sinky sink. So let's say um hopefully I remember to edit this out. Let me make a note to edit it out. Um, edit out the sink about the sink is about six minutes in edit out, out sink about six minutes in okay so we're going to say east front the delta east front to what kind of values and weird okay so we're going to sink and we're going to say Sink, sinks, we're gonna say sink, sink, sink. One, two, three. Info screen, administration, map. Sink, sink, sink to my loo. Okay, now we're synced. And the sink is done at uh, 7.36ish. Okay. So we've gone through the map, you know, we're, we're looking. Total land value. I, don't, I guess I don't really see any of this because I'm not him, so I don't. I guess I don't see that. Okay. Cool. So, so that's kind of a look over. Um, what else is there to look through? Let's look at our production pools. Active pools. Plenty of uh, plenty of armaments. Actually, do I have plenty of armaments? No, actually, we, we don't have plenty of armaments. Well, we have six million. We've already spent six million, though. Man. So in the active pool, nothing in the transit pool. <laughs> Manpower, we're pretty good on. We've we've spent about half, though. I mean, we're active pools, four hundred seventy-one thousand. Transit pools, about sixteen thousand. Man, we're putting a lot of, and I'm wondering what these minuses are. These must. I wonder if these are transfers over to, like other players, other countries. You know, maybe. Okay. So let us see. What was I doing before you know, we came over here? I was moving some, uh, the coastal air force, getting it out of North Africa and getting it over to Corsica. Uh, they're out of range of stuff. They're needed. Like I'm gonna move them to Corsica and just let them. You know, they're gonna do a good job at. Uh, are landing around probably my Pelier, Marseille. I'm not sure about that. Uh, we'll see how that even works out. It's uh, it's gonna be pretty touch and go for a little while because we've got a uh, pretty big hole to dig ourselves out of after this uh, this shitty 1943. But next turn, the American uh, morale goes up to 60, so, so the 82nd Airborne can get back up to 60. Uh, German it goes down from 70 to 65, so that's something there. Uh, they skunked us pretty good, man. The, we, we went in, this is our Kasserine Pass, we went in thinking the, the Germans would be beat, and you know, we got a beat down. We got beaten every stage of the game, uh, learning the game, learning the systems, but 
Okay. And don't not not to take anything away from Larry. He's always as usual playing a great game. He's he's near the Bill Belichick of uh of this. Not quite the not quite the Pelton, you know, the, the one who who will find all the angles. But he's he's he finds a lot of angles. He he tries to avoid the super cheesy ones, but you know he does he does go for the kill. You know, it's his, his style, and that's why I like playing him. He makes me better every time I play because he's he doesn't ever feel sorry for me to take a break on me. He's like a Terminator. He never stops. He's always coming. He doesn't care. He will keep coming until you're dead. That's pretty much our. He'll, he'll just keep coming until you're dead. So for a level 2 airfield, we can put 81 planes there. So Let's keep track of that. <clears throat> 15th is the Strategic Air Force. I'm, I'm putting those on Sardinia. They'll be able to bomb in pretty much everywhere from there. And they'll be able to get at good, at good angles too. They're not going to have to come up through the south will be able to come over from this way, and it'll take them a while to. I suspect it'll take our a while to realize that I'm, I'm coming from there. So that's that makes me happy. Coastal, 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 coastal. That one made level three. Oh yeah. We're gonna tactical it up, bro. 15th, 15th, what? Tactical, tactical. What was that? Two engine, two engine. Okay, so if I go there, yeah, it makes sense. Like that, these should be. Um, one, 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 two. It's hard to see. It's a two. Those are still two engine numbers. What else? Okay. <clears throat> tackle, tackle, right? Tackle, tackle, perfect. I'm saying I can stop three days here. It's tension. Tension music. Is this the, oh, is this the song I used for, of course this one. One of these is the one I used for the, the YouTube videos. This one might be the one I used for, for one last, or something like it. Okay, everything is cleared out from there. Oh, they're over provision already? Oh, because one of them was a group. Oh, these are all groups. Oh, shit. And the squadron should have 16, but the groups all have like 72. Like, ooh. Mobby. Mobby, Jim Jack. We can hold level 4 engines, we can hold level 20. And how many are in this group? 70. Oh, it's a fucking group, so 72. So you will need to be you will need to be the level 2 airfield, brother, all by yourself, because you are a big boy. You are a big boy, I do declare. So you'll be good, right? Here. All by yourself. I'm learning. Put my old thinking cap on. I can learn pretty daggone. Pretty. Pretty dang well, I tell you, I tell you so much, because I'm, I'm a smart Atari. Although that's a level three airfield, so a level three airfield should be able to have. Well, remember, Dingus, 270 capacity, so that's 270 aircraft, and these are. Each one is like 70, 140, one 280. So these are going, those are going to be kind of close, even if I do take them out and they stay under. So you go here. So they're going to still be coming close. Like if those other guys, if their allotment is 64, oh, so allotment 64, 64, 120, 140 is 2, 260. So there, yeah, they're they're a smidgen under it. So awesome. I love this kind of stuff. Getting these bases organized, it brings me much happiness. 
72 level bombers. So you're gonna need a level two group. Oh, you're over provision too, because you're a level three. Phew. You need a level two airbase too. And you're gonna need a level two airbase. Spread out my fishies. Spread out and destroy the world. You're gonna take part of both bases too, it sounds like. And that's okay. Brought this run me back under control, that's for sure. 15th, 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 tactical, tactical, tactical man, you're a group. You're a group that belongs. It's level 3. Tactical, tactical, oh, perfect. I could have the computer do this, but I'm fine with that be. Two squadrons, so you guys should be able to make it into a... Level two, or level one airfield would have... 22, so you could each go to level one airfields. Let's see what we got here. Tactical. Field for a two engine fighter. There's the funny three engine fighter. Like, oh, show me what three engine planes are there. Like, what? Two engine B 45. These are two squadrons, so that's like 20 something apiece. 36. So they should be able to oh, both land here. Right over the collision yet. Awesome. Tactical 24, 24, that's 48. 48 would be under, would just be over the limit of two engine bombers for level two port. Level two base, so this is level two. Mm -hmm. So we can up close in person. Why? But probably can't. Probably can't do both of them. We'll try. We'll try to keep it real. Oh, did it? Cool. Awesome. Just must be just barely there too. 15th Air Force. Oh, those fighter bombers? That's a group, so that's 70 something? 72? But that's 72 fighters. Oh, no, these are twin engine. So twin engine. Twin engine level 1 is 45, level 2 airfield is 180, so we can put you in a level 2 airfield somewhere and you'll be okay. It's 180, so that would be. If I can find a level two by yourselves, you two can both go. I don't know, that's level two right there, isn't it? Where the hell? Okay, that's not level two. That's a squadron, so that's only 16. Oh, excuse me. And I prefer. I just prefer them to be a little closer to the action, that's all. That's my preference. My preference is you know. Okay, any other bases over over now? Over provisioned? Because there's a penalty involved and I oh, you are provisioned. <coughs> you are a size one base. Are you already expanding? You are not why you're not expanding. I'm very disappointed in the base. I'm very disappointed in you too. The only way we're going to destroy these Nazis is if we have air power that can just eviscerate them at a purely evil level. Like, he doesn't take any pity on us. He enjoyed the fact that he cared. You know, 50% of us on the ground and somehow convinced our gunners not to shoot. He is worth destroying. And this is going to be a floating carrier, man. By springtime, oh, that one's over, over them too.
This is a much case was terrible because you had like the the HQs for the air and they just sucked. It really was unwieldy and it fucking it sucked. I'm I'm so much more happy with this. This was a such an improvement on the interface. Like kudos. And I'm not trying to dish on it. Like I hope they know it sucked themselves. Like and and as a programmer, I know like incremental, you know, iterative design. So totally not knocking it. But man, it. Looking back at some of the stuff I wrote, like I can say it sucked, so it's not it's not a knock, I'm just saying it's the way it is, but this is this is fucking light years ahead, I'm gonna Some fighter bombers. Some fighter bombers that would be better served down here. Like, why are there even planes up here? This is ridiculous. Oh, Thunderbolt 8th Air Force. Yeah, I need to get some of these guys down here. <sighs> I've been negligent. This, like, this is just downright negligence. US, this is the 8th. This one's probably an 8th Air Force airbase. Oh, US. So frustrating. But when at first you don't succeed, hit them again until they bleed. I think that's the way words go. When at first you don't succeed, hit them again until they bleed. When at first they don't succeed, hit them again until they bleed. Okay. Mr. Real Virginia, get the F out of here. Thank you. Mr. 51st, get the hell out of here. Thanks.